Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm here at the uh, Wallet uh, Aquatic Center. So I'm going to cover on my uh, daughter's diving uh, today. And I've been trying to do this since uh, they started diving here. Unfortunately, because of the uh, area it's limited for the uh, spectators and of course for the parents so I have to be creative so as you can see right here nothing is going on right here it's actually this also the Irvine uh, high school we call it the Akeros so you can see right there but I'm going to try my best to get uh, a footage of my uh, daughter's uh, diving so I tried on the other side, but I didn't see anything. And then on that side, nothing in here. So this time, hopefully you can see it right here. But uh, eventually I'll be able to, uh, to see them using my uh, uh, telephoto lens. So I'll get back to you later on, but for the meantime, and I hope you can uh, continue watching. So the reason why I'm uh, uh, filming my daughter's typing so that I have a documentation that they've been doing this and also to show the other people that you know uh, as long as we're supporting our kids to do their uh, uh, whatever uh, sports that they want to do we'll be gonna be there no matter what but uh, it's also another good uh, way to document their uh, progress from novice to uh, now uh, an advance uh, in diving. The main goal for this one is for them, hopefully, when they go to college, they get them a scholarship in diving. So that's the, uh, the bottom line of all of this, why we're doing this. Of course, you have to spend money so that they can get into the uh, diving uh, uh, called these practices and also lessons. And so far, you know, it's not that uh, uh, cheap. You have to spend money in order for you to get into the pool. Especially the situation that what we have right now, it's pandemic and it's only few uh, pools that are open. So in order for you to get there, you have to uh, be on the uh, schedule. And then uh, some of the coaches, they pick only those uh, students who are going to participate. And so far, our kids are lucky enough to get the slots for their uh, diving practices. And that's the reason why I'm here supporting them the best as I can so that they can, uh, you know, be a good diver. And then hopefully they can compete internationally. And also, uh, they're practicing for this coming April uh, uh, diving competition. I'm not so sure whether it is a zone or state, but whatever uh, diving competition it is, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to, uh, to compete because they've been diving for how many uh, months now since the pandemic so they started diving I think uh, around November up to this point in time and so far they are really consistent in terms of their uh, diving practices sometimes we come here in Irvine sometimes we go to Rose Bowl sometimes at the uh, uh, Mission Viejo and Ana Torres so so far our journey is a little bit uh, tough challenging but at the same time it's uh, rewarding because every time they finish their uh, diving practice they're always telling me that hey daddy I learned this dive hey daddy I uh, kind of like uh, did some correction hey daddy this always has something to say about their diving and I'm happy for that it seems like uh, the money that they're paying for them in their diving it's worth it so later on I'm going to uh, show you the things what they're doing while they're diving uh, of course, this is Butte Box again. So today, I'm going to walk you through. So what's my uh, daughter's uh, doing for the past uh, three years now uh, as a diver. So they're uh, not a professional driver. They're just uh, from uh, novice to uh, junior divers. So hopefully you like it. And uh, if you do, please don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, click that notification bell so that every time I have a new video you'll be able to see it you're the first one to see it okay so I'll see you in a bit okay this is a typical uh, side of the diving uh, 
uh, area here at uh, Willet uh, Aquatic Diving uh, uh, Facility. So you can't see that much, but I think you get the idea. It's right there.
that's the facility here at Irvine uh, Bullet Aquatic Center. So I just finished uh, documenting my daughter's diving uh, practices. So I'm pretty sure you get an idea how it works. The diving, it takes a lot of time. Usually they spend at least two hours just to get the routine uh, completed. And it takes a lot of repetition. So repetition, so that is the essence of diving. And if you have that kind of uh, courage at the same time drive to uh, jump from uh, five meter or one meter, uh, three meters, five meters, seven meters or 10 meters, then diving is for you. But I'm gonna tell you, it takes a lot of time and you need to uh, have that kind of toughness inside of you and courage. Because if you don't have that one, I don't think your diving will be uh, uh, fit for you or you're gonna benefit from that one. When my kids started diving, they started from swimming and then from swimming, they transitioned to diving. And from diving, sometimes they uh, compete in uh, swimming or sometimes in biathlon. But it's good for the kids to have that kind of uh, sense that uh, sports is not only for one particular, uh, you know, routine. You need to be a well-rounded and then from there, you can pick which one that you're really good at. And so far, uh, our kids pick diving because they're used to it now. They've been doing this for the past uh, four years now and hopefully they get better and better. And, you know, it takes time courage and at the same time more repetition and if you don't have that kind of uh, mindset I think that diving is not for you but anyway that's all for today and I hope you uh, pick up some uh, information about diving and if you're interested you can go to usadiving.org okay thank you for watching bye bye